What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Hawes Capital video. So this opportunity that we're gonna be talking about today is for Ume and the incentivized test net that they're running. Yes, I have already done a video for you guys on Ume, the incentivized test net. That was before the main net launch. If you did follow that video, you would have received the first airdrop. We all got the airdrop for anyone who participated in the test net. And it was a pretty decent airdrop. Uh, they airdropped it to any wallets that interacted and wallets that did the most interactions actually got more tokens. Meaning if on the test net, you only did two transactions, you were rewarded, but someone who did 50 transactions got a bigger reward than you. So keep that in mind when playing on this test net. All right. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over everything you need to know as far as this new test net uh, to participate, get your tokens, things to be aware of, incidents, accidents, uh, and little bugs that are all coming out right now. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's jump right into this. Uh, Ume, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about. We know it's a DeFi borrowing and lending uh, protocol on the Cosmos blockchain. It's also EVM compatible, so it does allow for connectivity to the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, the test net you will be utilizing, uh, you'll need a Kepler wallet and a MetaMask wallet. You're going to need test net tokens, which you can get from the Discord, and I'll go over that. And you're also going to need Ethereum test net tokens for the Ethereum Gorilla, the Gorilla test net. I think it's what it is, uh, but I know I've provided you guys faucets before. Um, so if you can use the hashtag faucet in the room and you should be able to find all the faucets. Also, hopefully you guys are saving these testnet faucets in folders like I keep telling you to. Uh, it just makes it easier, especially because we keep having to go back to the same networks and use the same test nets over and over. All right. So the website we will need to go to is testnet.ume.cc. But before we jump into that and do all the borrowing and lending, uh, I want to give you some other important information you need to be aware of. They have the documents that go over the testnet, how it works, what you need to do. Uh, so make sure you go through and you read through all of this info. Uh, they also have the docs that exist out there with the testnet that gives you explanations on everything from the wallets you need to do, how to get the testnet tokens. Uh, but I'm going to walk through all that for you. But if for whatever reason, after watching this video, it still doesn't make sense, take your time and read through the documents. It might make more sense to you that way. All right. Uh, Ume, how it works. So basically, you're encouraged to contribute the highest TVL uh, of assets on Ume. All right. Um, and down here, participants can increase their TVL contributions by strategically depositing, borrowing, and depositing back various assets. So to break that down for someone who's new to crypto and doesn't know what that means for this testnet, basically what they want you to do is use DGEN, degenerate stat strategies on uh, this block, on this project. And all they want you to do is deposit the testnet tokens, borrow the testnet tokens, redeposit the testnet tokens and keep doing that cycle over and over as much until you increase your borrowed amount as much as you can without being liquidated. All right. That's the key thing. Just be careful of liquidations. And if you do get liquidated, who cares? Uh, you can request more tokens from the faucet every 12 to 24 hours uh, and you can put them back. They're testnet tokens. This costs you absolutely nothing, guys. And that's the thing. Um, these test nets that I give you guys, I try to go through. There are so many test nets, but I try to find some quality ones that are worthwhile. Ume has already given us uh, and, and provided rewards. So you guys know you can come and do this test that's simple enough. It's on Cosmos. Everyone loves Cosmos. And you have opportunity for a future airdrop that could just be free money for you guys. And who knows? Everyone likes free money. Uh, so again, uh, testnet tokens, uh, users who try to manipulate the TVL by sending testnet tokens between wallets will not be eligible. So I would recommend you guys not sending tokens to and from your different wallets. Uh, in the first testnet that we did, uh, if you had 10 wallets and you participated on 10 different wallets, each of those wallets got an airdrop. This time they're trying to prevent the gamification of the airdrops. We're seeing more and more projects try to do this. And I think it's a good thing because there are a lot of robots and you know fake uh, accounts in the Discord. Uh, so if you can get rid of those and 
not allow those to be rewarded, that would be a lot helpful where real community people like ourselves can get more and more tokens. To do the faucets uh, for the Ether Testnet faucet, you can go to the uh, the Gorilla test Ether Testnet website, which I'll include for you. Uh, but if you need the actual uh, Ume, Adam, Juno, and Osmosis token, which are part of this test net, you will have to go into the Discord, guys, all right? Um, so just be aware of that. Now, uh, as far as rewards, rewards will be automatically distributed to your wallet, uh, just like they were on the first test net that we did. A couple other things that I thought were important that I wanted to highlight, and this is directly from the actual Discord itself. Uh, when you're collecting or you're requesting tokens from the faucet, they're going to be, again, you've got the Ume, Cosmos, Juno, and Osmosis address. But just so you know, if you already have like an Osmos testnet, a Juno testnet, and a Cosmos hub testnet, it's not the same testnet. The very first time you come over to the Ume website and you connect to wallets, what it should do is it should offer you these versions. Like you can see here, I've got Juno Umenia, uh, Umenia. I've got Ume Umenia, Adam Umenia, and Osmos Umenia. And that's still different than the Juno testnet that I have and the Osmos testnet that I have in the Kepler. So just be aware there are different wallets and there are different addresses that will show up. But when you connect to Ume, it should automatically add them for you. But you need those addresses are the ones you're going to want to copy and paste, as well as including exclamation point request in front of the address. Post that in the Discord and they will send you the tokens. Now, be aware again, due to high volume robots, people trying to, you know, continuously keep claiming tokens. Uh, it does take a while, at least the first time I tried to do this a couple of days ago, it had issues. Uh, also, something to be aware of, guys, um, if you go into the Discord, and at the time, I don't know, everyone's going to watch this video at different times. Some of you guys will watch it today. Some of you guys won't watch it till like the weekend, next weekend, a month from now, who knows. But whenever you go into the Discord, if the testnet is still live at the time of watching this video, uh, be aware that it does have issues. The faucet has been having issues, people being unable to claim tokens, uh, people doing the request for like all four addresses, but only receiving tokens for one address uh, those issues have happened just wait your 12 hours go back and repaste the address and then you should be able to get tokens that way all right um, just so you can be aware other issues that have already been reported and continues being reported there have been issues with the ibc transfers um so in this test net you're going to need to transfer some uh ume from the ume network atom network to the ethereum network and vice versa back and forth um there's been issues with tokens not showing up tokens being lost in the transfers transactions just saying failed uh it's happened to me too and i'm just going to go over some stuff that i was able to do uh to get around it to actually utilize the testnet fully all right so once again we're here at testnet.ume.cc and i'm going to assume you already have your testnet tokens you've got your metamask funded with the ether uh testnet ether and you've got your uh all these ume uh, osmos and other tokens all right when we come to the dashboard you can see we've already done the borrowing and lending i've so far borrowed about 1200 and i continuously keep supplying that so i can keep going up uh, a couple of things that you need to be aware of um again this is evm compatible so you do have the options on the ethereum network as well to do borrowing and lending as you can see i've lended um you know one at one atom and i borrowed like 30 percent of another one and that's it guys that's all you really want to do over here so let's go through a couple of things all right so here we are we're at the markets right let's go ahead and let's supply uh some atom well no i've already supplied that how much atom do i have which one do i actually have tokens on i gotta go through and see and what do i have tokens so i've got some ume here all right 300 ume we're going to go ahead and supply 50 percent of that we'll do supply just so you guys can see what happens on the transactions now sometimes when you do the transactions guys just so you're aware it may come up and your reject and your approve button in your kepler wallet will just be spinning like that if that happens, just exit out, go back and reinitiate the transaction again. That's what I've done in the past and it worked for me. Another thing that I had happen where I've been able to get around issues with the gas fees, sometimes it'll just say failed transaction. All the testnet gas is set to the same. All I do is go in here and like I'll add another two to that number um, or I'll just increase the gas a little bit. 
and then I'll hit approve. Uh, and then usually the transaction will go through. So right now it says supplying, supply successful, view on explore. But even though I did that, my Kepler wallet is still up and it's still spinning. Just exit out, guys. If it says that you've supplied it and you've been able to supply it, you should be good. Now I'm on the borrow page here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to borrow some assets, guys. All right. We're going to go ahead and see if we can't borrow some Juno. Let's see if it gives us any issues or trouble. We'll do the borrow. Uh, we're going to update the gas just because I know uh, it's given me errors before. We'll do approved transaction. All right. And then there we go. Borrowing, borrowing successful. That's it. So, of course, because I'm doing the video as of right now, it doesn't want to give me the issues it was just giving me a while ago. But just be aware it was giving me issues too, guys. I did have the same issues. So I borrowed some Juno. Now I'm just going to come back right over here. And guess what I'm going to do with the Juno that I borrowed? I'm going to resupply it back to it. And that's basically what they want you to do, guys. They want you to load up on this thing and just go ahead and keep maximizing the TVL and doing degen strategies, borrowing, resupply, borrow, resupply. All right. So that's it. That's all you have to do over there. Now, over here on markets, guys, if you want to go ahead and do transfers, it's not very hard at all. All you would simply do is come on over here to transfer. Uh, now that I'm on the Ethereum network, I can go ahead and initiate Ethereum transfers. I'll do transfer and I'm. you can see I'm transferring from Ume to Ethereum, which is in my MetaMask. We'll do 50%, which is about six bucks. Uh, and we'll go ahead and hit transfer on there. We confirm that in the Kepler wallet. Give it a second. Let it go ahead and add that to the blockchain. Um, there we go. Transaction included in the block. And that would be it. Bridging in process. Uh, and give it a second. And be aware, guys, again, uh, if your Ume does not show up when you do the transfer, because I actually have already transferred some Ume and it's not showing, uh, it didn't show up for me. They already addressed that in the Discord. Uh, it, it will be fixed and it should show up in the future. If you need more Ume, 12 hours later, you can go back and request it in the faucet. All right. So just wanted to give you guys uh, the heads up on that. So you can see it doesn't recognize that I supplied any Ume over there. Uh, so that's cool. But again, I know I just did the transfer of it uh, and it was uh, it was done. All right. Uh, so let's see. What else can we do? Um, that's about it, guys. I think I have supplied and borrowed as much as I can at this point. Oh, here you go. I got a little bit more Juno. I can go ahead and supply. Let's just supply the max of it. Supply max. Approve transaction. All right. And yeah, the Kepler, guys, it just does that thing. So be aware if yours is doing that, just exit out. Uh, it did accept your transaction, or at least it should have accepted your transaction. All right, we'll supply a little bit more uh, Ether. Now, you know what? Let's go ahead onto that. We'll borrow something. Let's see what we can borrow. Let us borrow. Let us borrow. We'll borrow some Atom. All right, borrowed Atom. How much Atom can I borrow? It says I can borrow a max of seven. So we'll borrow a max of five. Confirm transaction. Wait for it to be included in the block. Oh, transaction failed out of gas relocation. All right, cool. So there we go. That was the issue that I was talking about. All right, so we'll go back over here. We'll do borrow transaction. I'm going to go ahead and set and edit and change this gas fee. We'll do that. We'll do approve transaction on here. And hopefully that one goes this time. And now it should, oh, nope, transaction failed. Still won't let me do it. All right, what's going on? Why not? Don't know. We'll go ahead. See if we can borrow some some Osmos from this. And sometimes, like I said, guys, up oh, transaction fail. So here we go. Now we're having the same issues where it's telling me out of gas, unable to acknowledge. Uh, not sure why it would be telling me out of gas when I know that I've got more than enough tokens in the wallet. There you go. Before I even tried to do the transaction on that one, the transaction failed. And these are just the bugs, guys. When you come up across these bugs, if you're in the Discord, take screenshots, report the error that you've seen. Uh, and that's all that the team really and truly wants you to do. All right. Um, so with that said, I think we get the gist of it. What you need to do, basically, supply, transfer, EVM bridge, do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. That's all it is that we really need to do um, as far as the repayment. Let's go ahead and repay a little bit of this atom right here. See if we can't do some repaying. 
Uh, and you need to do some repaying as well, guys. Just do everything that you can that's offered and eligible for you to do. Uh, if there was rewards, I would tell you to claim the rewards, but I don't believe there are any rewards that you can't claim. Yeah. All right. So there we go. We have done now done that as well. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't do some uh, some transferring. We want to go ahead and borrow. Uh, I want to go ahead and see if it will let me borrow the. Let's go ahead and update the gas fee this time. Approve transaction. Let's see. All right, borrow successful. So see, it didn't let me borrow the Osmos a while ago, but now it let me borrow the Osmos again. So as I said, guys, even though you get the failed transaction, X out the Kepler and just go back to it and it should allow for you and it should work, all right? Uh, so there we go. I think I just borrowed some Osmos and I can go back over here and I'm gonna resupply. Yep, there go the 14. And there, I just wanted to see that it actually took the borrow. And as you guys can see, it did after numerous failed transactions, it does take it. Uh, so it does work, everything works, guys. You just have to uh, have a little bit of patience. But again, you're trying to build up the TVL. So your best bet was to probably sit on this site for a little bit and keep borrowing and lending, borrowing and lending, borrowing and lending. And don't forget to transfer a little bit to the, to the Ethereum network. Uh, that way you can receive credit for that as well. All right. Uh, with that said, that's all I wanted to do is go over that video. I hope that video was helpful for you guys. Uh, hopefully everyone does qualify for the airdrop and I will catch you guys on the next video.